What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Demon Lillard. Back with another video. I ain't talking to the title, man. Paul George to the Sixers, CP3 to the Spurs, Klay Thompson to the Mavs. We got some blockbuster free agent moves um already. And to be real, these is, I mean, between Paul George and Klay, probably the two biggest free agents on the market right now. I mean, my, I mean, shoot, we got nothing but time to look it up. But as I know. I think these are the two biggest free agents, to be honest. Um, yeah, OG. OG already signed. Yeah, OG already signed with New York. Yeah, these are the best um of prospects. Let's see. Yeah. Maxi, yeah, Maxi staying with the Sixers. Braun going to the Lakers. The Rosen didn't make his decision yet. Siakam staying with Indy. And Paul George going to Philly. So for the most part. The biggest free agents, yeah, Harden staying with the Clippers. He's staying with Toronto. I mean, basically, basically everybody's staying with their teams. Tobias going to Detroit. We don't care about that. Um, KPJ went to the Clippers. That's big. Um, but yeah, big big blockbuster trades. Paul George and Klay Thompson. So let's go ahead and see what Chris Smooth got to say for Paul us, man. George is going to the 76ers. He My dog, Chris Smooth. Year deal, two hundred twelve million. The Clippers Wait, four years, two twelve. Four year deal, two hundred twelve million. Okay, so like fifty mil a year. The Clippers Dang. only wanted to give him three years, so that's why he left. Okay. And it's a good fit. It is. I like him. He fits the Tobias Harris role. Seventy Sixers, are they seriously contending? Because the last few seasons, it's been a disaster. Embiid is never healthy. Last season was one of the worst examples. He was limping all over the court on fast but, breaks. But maybe um Embiid has less pressure on him because I mean Tobias Tobias was supposed to be the third option, but to be real, it kind of came down to like between him and Kelly was they combined to be the third option. It really was no like first I was really Embiid, Maxi, and everybody else. So hopefully it can be Embiid, Maxi, Paul George. And then everybody else, and you know, what I'm saying that's really it. And then, then you get to he get into a championship team, really multiple scoring options. Well either there were a lot of dunks and layups in the paint. So hopefully, Paul George and he adds um to their defensive um. Damn, paper, this is that boy Chris move. move. They got one of the best players that's available in free agency. Yeah, also. I mean, they got they fixed they Tobias Harris problem. Play, if he's injured, if he can't move around on a court and play defense, what does it matter? What is this? This is starting five, ain't it? I never played this before. Too. The last four to five seasons, he hasn't played all 82 games. He's been missing games, too. The Shit, and B. Hell, and B was averaging damn near 40 before he went out earlier this season. <laughs> he, he was supposed to run away with the MVP. The way we talking about Jokic and Shea and Luka, bro. And B was averaging 40. I don't think the Sixers like 37, are 37, 38, bro. Like, I don't think they could beat the Knicks. I don't like yeah, I don't think they can fuck with the, the Knicks Pacers or the Celtics, or though. The Bucks. So or the Bucks. Really yeah, yeah, or the Bucks. In that Eastern I mean, I, in a seven-game series, they can beat any. But you can say that about anybody. But no, I think in a seven-game series, they can get a fluky win over Milwaukee. I don't think they beat Boston, though. No. Nah, I don't think they can beat Boston. I don't think nobody in the East can beat Boston right now. Aside Milwaukee, Milwaukee, the only team I feel like can actually do it. And yeah, Milwaukee and then the Knicks. The Knicks look good now, but I still, it's still the Celtics and everybody else to me, though. Should be like, better than they were. Last Pacers, I am. I'm not nah, Celtics, man. Celtics think think over everybody right now. Section. 76ers fans, what are you thinking about this move? To me, it's funny. They got better, but they're not really in a better situation in the East because the other teams are a lot better than they are. Oh, man. So we'll just have to see what but happens. So more news. You can argue and say that they got the best player in the East, though. The Warriors, Wimby. He's going to the Spurs for one year to play with Wimby. I love that. that young I love that trade. What I thought CP3 was going to do for Golden State was be the veteran playmaker. And kind of get them together, which you kind of do with Kaminga. Him and Kaminga is really good. Him and Trace, really good. I think Trace, you know what I'm saying, got better because of CP3. Same with Kaminga. Um, hopefully, CP3 allows the Spurs to see that, bro. Wimby is the most unstoppable player in the fucking league. 
Well, he can be one of the most unstoppable players in the league if you just get him the ball. <laughs> and I know Chris Paul going to get him the ball. I love it. I love that. Team, his deal is worth and he can help the he can help the younger the guards team, on as he's getting ready to retire soon. You know what I'm saying his first suit that he can still play with Greg Popovich. Mm -hmm. And finally we get to see somebody oh, Pop. bobbing Wimby. <sighs> Somebody he's finally always open in the paint. They're not really looking at him. You know, CP3 is going to be looking right at him. Thank you. Like, That's literally, CP3 see. is going to get him in a pick and roll and just be staring at him. <laughs> like, he's going to stare at Wimby. Maybe like, he loves to throw beautiful. Lobs. So, that's going to be fun be to watch. Man. And then this weekend, we also found out that Clay Thompson is not returning to the Warriors. So, that era is over. That's mm -hmm. actually very sad. Not facts. Because he had some amazing moments with Steph Curry, the Splash Brothers. Mm -hmm. But after the injury, after he got injured, he was never the same. Clay Thompson. His game, it definitely went down. He's still a good player, but he's just not on that level he was pre-injury. So there are a lot of teams that are going to be interested. Now that the Sixers... It hurts my heart, bro, because... Two of my favorite players of all time are Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. The Splash Bros. Like, I don't see them... My favorite, you know I'm saying, two of my favorite players ever, bro. So it's kind of, it's tough, bro. Clay, Clay you know what I'm saying, impacted it up. George, I don't know if he's an option it's there. Tough, Probably bro. not. Or maybe, you never know. Who knows? Because I don't know what Tobias Harris is doing. I think they're going to get rid of Tobias Harris. But you got the Mavericks and the Lakers that want Clay Thompson. We'll see where he ends up. And then we have bad news for Knicks fans. Isaiah Hartenstein is going to the Thunder. Mm. So they weren't able to keep him there. That was well, nice Hartenstein. With Damn. all the moves they made. But they still have some good That's depth, tough. though. For the bigs. They've got Randall. They got yeah. Mitchell Robinson. So it's not that bad. I mean, obviously, Hartenstein but Randall might be is going, so though. clutch. So but Hartenstein's passing ability, that's going to be big. Mitchell Robinson will give him that. So key in a lot of these games this season. And Mitchell Robinson fouled too damn much. He was really showing his worth. It would have been nice for him to be there, but you can't keep everybody. When you spend that much money, you get somebody like Mikael Bridges, you're not going to be able to fill in yeah. everybody else that was there, nice especially fact. with that contract they gave to OG. But so far, free agency has been exciting. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Yeah, solid. Songs. He quit the game. I'll say it's solid. Um, Solid free agency so far. Um, for sure. Let's go ahead and watch this Clay Thompson video right quick. And we have some breaking news in the NBA where Clay Man. Thompson is about to become a member of the Dallas Mavericks. According to multiple reports, Thompson is set to agree to a three year, $50 million deal with the defending Western Conference champs. The second generation star played his entire 11 year NBA career in Golden State, where he was a five time All Star and part of four championships. But you know what's crazy, though? I said this last year when they was, um, I think talking about Draymond leaving, and I said it. The only person that's going to retire in a Warriors jersey that I'm absolutely sure about is Stephen Curry. Steph Curry not going nowhere. That's one. That's one person I can guarantee you that's not ever going to suit up in another jersey other than a Golden State jersey. I can't say the same for Draymond. Well, obviously Clay going, but yeah, I couldn't say the same for Clay. But Curry, of course, that deal is Curry not going to well. train with the Warriors, and there is no one they did. to talk about. You can honestly say they did Clay wrong when they benched him, which I don't think they did. I think it was about time he got put on the fucking bench. But Clay probably feeling like, man, I'm still a starting caliber player, like you know, and I think they they value me less than what I think I am. That's probably what Clay feeling. That's probably why he left. For real, for real. With Clay That's what I was hearing Johnson, that they were disrespected. Avery Johnson, it was disrespecting coach, your initial reaction to this big move. Terrific move by the Dallas Mavericks. Mm -hmm. um, but this mm -hmm. comes to an end uh, when you look at Clay Thompson's uh, career with the Golden State Warriors. What an incredible run he had with uh, Steph Curry and um, obviously Steve Kerr and their entire uh, ownership group. Uh, which brought multiple championships to that franchise, and Clay was a huge part of it. But now Clay brings that experience of being a championship player. He's not the same as he was defensively, but y'all keep still... talking about this defensively bullshit too. That's another thing. Yes, of course, Clay Thompson, not Clay Thompson of old, two way Clay Thompson. But bro, man, you're not leaving Clay Thompson wide open. I tell you, I guarantee you that. Now you might attack him on uh, on on defense. But I guarantee you for sure you're not leaving him open. I, I guarantee that's one thing that has not changed. 
<laughs> that's one thing that has not changed about Clay Thompson that he will <laughs> light you up from the three line. So to have now with your starting lineup, which I'm assuming is going to be because they got the um, who they lose? They lost Derrick Jones, I think. Derrick Jones is gone. I think he went. I don't know where Derrick Jones went. He's gone. So what? The, what is it? Luca, Kyrie. Well, I guess not Clay. Um, I think they still got PJ, and then Lively or Gafford at the five. I like that. And all five of them can shoot reliably. Respectfully, Derrick Jones was. I know everybody gonna blame Luca defense and Kyrie playing ass. I ain't gonna lie. Derrick Jones had a lot of wide open shots that he missed too. PJ did too, but Derrick Jones, it was like they was wide. Like they like they gave him time to shoot that little load up jumper he got too. That little <laughs> they gave him time to shoot that bitch and he still was missing. So it's like, all right, bro. Like, what well, 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 I mean? Like, come on, D Jones. But shout out to Clay. I'm happy for him. At least the, the Mavs, it's gonna be wide open shots, bro. You playing against Luke, you playing with Luke, you playing with Kyrie, bro. PJ. Derrick Jones, these niggas was wide open. So now you playing Clay. This probably would be one of the best. This probably be the best spacing that Clay's had since KD was on the Warriors with Curry and Curry and him. So I think Clay gonna eat. This is a great mat, great great um um team for him. I, either between the Mavs and the Lakers, I was cool with either one of them. He's gonna get wide open shots either way. I think he'll get more open shots with Luke and Kyrie though, um because you have to double. You have to double. Um, Luca, Bron, they've been. I don't. Know, you got a double Bron too, but that's a whole nother story. I think the man's a good trade for him though. But um, yeah, man, y'all leave down below y'all comments. I don't want to keep this video too long because I'll probably do like a free agency recap video in like a couple weeks whenever everybody is gone. But yeah, man, leave down below y'all thoughts. Like the video if y'all like the video. Yes, yeah, subscribe, channel if you're new. Turn on post notifications. I'm holla on the next one, man.